Welcome to Aggregate Industries. Intellin Quarry is a hard rock quarry extracting material for the construction industry throughout central Scotland. No matter the reason for your visit to Dintillin, your safety is our number one priority. We all have an active duty in maintaining a safe and effective site. This begins from your entry to our property. Please observe speed limits and be alert. We have HGV and many forms of heavy mobile equipment operating that may be unfamiliar to you. Follow directions and safety signs while progressing to our visitor parking area at the site offices. We employ a reverse park policy, so please be sure to reverse park your vehicle. Once safely parked, make your way to the main office entrance in the middle of the far office block to register your presence with site management. As you enter, the visitor logbook is on your right hand side. Please fill in the date, your name and the company you represent. Then, take a visitor ID card from the wallet on the wall and swipe in as shown here. Once you have swiped in, please enter the number written on the card, your vehicle registration and the time in the logbook. Please note, prior to leaving our site, you need to return to the main office entrance the visitor card you have needs to be swiped out and returned to the card wallet on the wall and the time out recorded in the logbook on the same row you filled in upon arrival. Staff members and long-term contractors issued with dedicated ID cards are not required to fill in the logbook. They are only required to swipe their card in and out. Once you have logged in, please report to the office on the right to inform site management of the reason for your visit. Once you have introduced yourself, you are required to show you have a minimum PPE requirement prior to entering the site. Lace-up steel toe cap safety boots should be worn at all times. Class 3 high visibility trousers, jackets and waistcoat, hard hat, suitable safety glasses or goggles and gloves suitable for the task being carried out. Other items of PPE, such as hearing protection and dust masks, should be worn as and when required. All quarries are deemed to be hazardous areas. The most common hazards are found around the quarry faces themselves. There is movement of heavy mobile equipment, such as loading shovels or dump trucks, your proximity and movement around those operations must be carefully considered. If you are visiting site to perform a frequently performed low-risk work task, then it is acceptable if you produce your risk assessment and method statement off-site and present it along with your operator license to site management as part of your visitor induction. If everything is acceptable, you will be issued any safety equipment for your vehicle and given verbal permission to enter onto the site. You may now move on to Chapter 2, Transport and Traffic Arrangements. However, you may be required to prove your competence. We need to see all relevant licenses and qualifications. Once management has reviewed and confirmed as valid, you will be issued any safety equipment for your vehicle and a two-way radio. You are now authorised to enter our site, but not yet authorised to work. A point of work risk assessment is required when you reach your work location. This is covered in Chapter 3. For your safety and those around you, it is paramount. Any concern over work location, condition of plant, or the condition of a colleague who you think may be under the influence of drugs or alcohol and may need some help. Do not begin work and report immediately to site management. Transport and traffic arrangements. Whether you are walking or driving around site, please remain alert at all times. 
The main pedestrian routes begin in the visitor car park here and are highlighted with red dashes on our site map. Pedestrian routes on quarry sites are fenced off from haul routes. Crossing points are clearly marked with goalposts. Please be sure to use the walkways at all times. If you are driving on the quarry site, light vehicle routes are highlighted with a solid yellow line on our site map. Operator licenses and vehicle checks. Once we have given you permission, we will issue you with HSO3 Duntillon Quarry Workplace Transport Rules which must be signed for. We will then give you directions to your on-site work location. Prior to entering the quarry site, all light vehicles need to display flashing beacons and have buggy whips. If you require flashing beacons and buggy whips, we will issue them to you as part of your visitor induction. Please note, you need to return to the site office to log out and return any equipment before leaving the site. Once you have walked to your vehicle, apply buggy whips to the vehicle cab roof, enter the vehicle, turn on the flashing beacons and ensure seat belts are worn at all times. Now you may safely drive into the quarry site, carefully observing all warnings and directions. While driving a light vehicle on the quarry site, extra care should be taken when entering and movement within the extraction area where heavy plant is continuously moving. Two-way radio should be used to communicate and confirm desired entry or movement before proceeding. When you arrive at the quarry site work area, reversing should be kept to a minimum. Please reverse park if necessary, do not park in a blind spot, make sure you are clearly visible to all other site traffic where there is no obstruction to simply driving forward. Never approach heavy mobile equipment without a thumbs up from the operator. Either contact them via the two-way radio handset you were issued or wait in a safe, visible location for them to acknowledge your presence with a thumbs up, it's safe to approach. Mobile phones must not be used when driving or operating any mobile equipment. If you experience a vehicle breakdown, use two-way radio or personal mobile device to report this to site management and wait in a safe place for support to arrive. Point of Work Risk Assessment Any high risk activity will require a point of work risk assessment. Site management will review the risk assessment and issue a permission to proceed form to be completed when you arrive at the job location. You must not begin any work until you've been attended by a site isolation controller. A permit to work may be required for certain high risk activities. Remember, your safety and those around you is paramount. Once you reach the point of work, any concern over the work location or the condition of plant, do not begin work and report immediately to site management. Once you have reviewed the location and the plant, document where the hazards are significant. Suitable control measures should then be put in place to reduce the risks from the hazards as far as reasonably practicable. Please consider things like Are you parked in a safe location away from heavy plant? Are you near any quarry faces at risk of spontaneous rockfall? You must also consider the impact of your work on others upstream and downstream to the equipment or area you are working. Please remember when considering the hazards, any mitigation must account for not only your safety but the environment and or the local wildlife. Emergency Preparedness We must ensure everyone on site knows what to do in the event of an emergency. 
Your personal safety is your number one priority during any emergency. You cannot assist others while endangering yourself. The site has emergency boards in the corridor linking the main office to the canteen, where all relevant emergency numbers and a map with the locations of safety provisions and high-risk areas are identified. You will be provided with a copy of these numbers and a map by management as part of your initial visitor registration. If you witness an emergency, the alarm should be raised by the quickest possible means, either two-way radio or personal phone or find someone nearby who has a two-way radio. You may also quote the following what three words to the emergency services. Paramedic, unless, driven. This will direct them to the main quarry entrance gate to rendezvous with a site first responder. If issued a two-way radio and you hear the phrase, condition red, condition red, this is the emergency message to alert everyone. Keep the radio clear. Radio for emergency use only and all persons and plant to stop operating immediately. If you then hear the phrase, full quarry evacuation immediately, you must safely make your way to the emergency point in the overflow car park. Once there, please make yourself known to site management and present your visitor card for cross-checking the roll call electronic swipe in facility. We must ensure that all persons are accounted for and no one is still within the quarry. Fire extinguishers. Here on the site map, we have clearly marked locations of all of our fire extinguishers located around the offices, canteen and quarry site. They should only be used by trained persons on small fires. If you discover a fire, raise the alarm immediately by the quickest means possible. Once you have raised the alarm or hear a fire alarm, then please move safely to the emergency assembly point in the overflow car park. First aid. Here on the site map, you have clearly marked locations of all of our first aid stations. The site has a number of qualified first aid personnel wearing green hard hats with a white first aid symbol. If a first aider is required, a radio transmission should be placed for first aider required in ABC area. The first aider will respond to verify received and en route. First aider will assess the emergency. Where it is a minor injury, you may be taken to our designated first aid room at the rear of the main office block, accessed from the left past the toilets. If the first aider deems it to be a major incident, the injured person will not be moved. 999 is called immediately and the first aider will follow their duties, keeping everyone calm and safe. There are three defibrillators on site. One located in the first aid room at the back of the main office. One in the crushing operation welfare cabin located here on the site map. And one in the quarry supervisor's site pickup for mobile delivery if necessary. Please report incidents that require treatment to site management and record the incident in the first aid book located in the main office where you received your visitor induction. Liquid spills. Here on the site map, we have clearly marked locations of all of our spill kits. The spill kits contain rain covers, booms to assist, dust or sand may also be used. You will be provided with this map as part of your visitor registration upon arrival. In the event of a liquid, oil, fuel or grease spill, we must contain the spillage to protect the environment. Stop the leak at source where possible 
and clean up with the required pads and or granules within the spill kits. In the event of larger spills, we have a suitable contractor in place. Always report the use of any safety provisions to the management team in the main site office. Waste Disposal Please remove all task generated waste from the job site with you. As you exit the site, we have a wood skip located opposite from the quarry workshop, small wheelie bins for cartridges, rags and filters is located at the east side of the quarry workshop and bins at the quarry office are present for dry mixed recyclables. Welfare facilities. Visitors are welcome to use our canteen and facilities. If your boots are dirty, please use our boot wash located at the rear of the main office block. Access on the left past the external toilets. Upon entry to the office block, be sure to store any outer jackets, overalls or hard hats here in the main locker area across the corridor from the main office entrance. There is an additional male toilet on your right hand side across from the canteen. Management systems and policies. In summary, there are many rules and procedures that may be relevant to your visit. We will discuss these in full and issue any relevant rules and procedures during your in-person induction. These include short firing rules, mobile plant and light vehicle rules, isolation and lock-off procedures, excavation and tipping rules, and our emergency procedures. To summarise, what aggregate industries expect of you while under our care at Dantillon Quarry here are our five cardinal rules. We're always asked to take a step back, look at our surroundings and then eliminate any risks that are in the area. In the lab, while our jobs are quite monotonous, you will do them every day sometimes, or sometimes it's once a month, but every time the area might be different, the situation might be different, so you do have to assess it. It's not unusual for me to be unauthorised to use some pieces of equipment on site, so it's usually planned in the planning stage to have somebody there competent and able to supervise me using such equipment. Mainly concerning the drivers is to ensure that their inductions are up to date, both their AI and their site induction and their MPQC. That's a must. Um, I don't think the company would accept it any other way and neither would I or anybody else around me really. It's the last uh, line of defence but it's, it's necessary and uh, has to be used appropriately. The smallest thing under the influence could cause the biggest accident and it's just not acceptable. If we do have an incident where there's an accident, they will automatically be tested for drug and alcohol. All incidents and injuries, even if they're just a near miss, can be a learning opportunity to avoid it in the future, to avoid anyone going home injured, or God forbid, not going home at all. If you are here to operate heavy plant or machinery, please continue by watching whichever safety video relates to the work you are here to do. Otherwise, please complete the multiple choice test for general visitor and report back to site management at reception to complete your in-person induction and be supplied with all relevant safety equipment and information. Quarry safety features Rock traps must always be in place below all quarry faces. Do not enter into these areas at any point. Rocks can and do fall. Edge protection must be in place to cover any exposed fall over an edge within the quarry. Do not dig these away and report any issue with these immediately to management. 
There are multiple very deep excavations backfilled with peat. These are very dangerous. Do not enter these areas. Similarly, there are multiple deep water bodies on the site. Do not approach the water. Specialist work may require rams and life jackets. Vehicle Loading All loading of wagons must be conducted safely in accordance with site loading procedures. If any driver leaves a cab, loading must stop immediately until the driver is safely back inside with seatbelt on. Vehicles must be loaded evenly and centrally, unless the loading of fines, which can favour the back axle to minimise risk of overturning. Maximum payload weights should not be exceeded for the given vehicle being loaded. Any overloading should only be addressed at the dedicated tip-off bay to then require reloading. Surcharging of an unevenly distributed load on the light side may be required to enable a safe tip-off. Any stockpiles where the loading face is excessively high or overhanging Report or address it immediately. Excavator All excavator work must be carried out in accordance with the site excavators and tip rules. An adequate level pad must be constructed with sound access and exit ramp in the event of an emergency. Excavators must be able to reach the height of the overlying face or pile and must always have a suitable and sufficient rock ditch present to catch any rocks falling. Tipping Operations All site tipping must be in accordance with the tipping rules. No tipping must take place when any plant or person enter within the 10 metre exclusion zone either side of a tipper. Radio contact must be made if unsure of a specific stockpile or tip location. Adequate edge protection must be in place before tipping takes place. Report immediately any absence or spalling of edge protection. Always avoid tipping on any soft or uneven ground or those with a crossfall to minimise the risk of overturning or rollover. Do not end tip over the edge. Block tip short of the edge of stockpiles or faces to be pushed over by a loading shovel or dozer. Crawl forward to ensure the load has been discharged fully, then stop. And lower the body completely prior to moving off. Refueling. All refueling must take place safely and in accordance with risk assessment. Park on level ground. Do not manoeuvre Bowser towards machine if the operator is outside of the machine cab. Contain and report any spills or leaks. And keep a record of any fuel dispensed.
maintenance lock-off. All lock-off of plant must be in accordance with site lototo procedure. A site isolation controller must always begin the lockout process with a yellow padlock. And every man locking off thereafter. Consider all stored energy sources, including buckets and skips. Wheel chocks must be in use on wheeled machines and testing of all isolated equipment prior to work must take place every time.